Paracor, a simple but fully automatic bottom pouring unit for all applications. This one is pouring ductile iron on a high speed flaskless mould line. The Parapore consists of a sealed body with fill lid and a small pour box bolted to the front which contains the stopper and nozzle. The body unit is held in place in substantial frames which operate hydraulically and the whole device is mounted on travel bogies for positioning. The parapore works by tilting the main bath about the nozzle to maintain a constant head of metal in the pore box. As the metal level drops, so the back of the bath raises automatically to compensate. And as it is filled, the back drops so the metal level over the nozzle remains the same. This means the stopper can be set to dispense the same amount of metal to every mould with the same flow rates. However, because of the tilt, the metal stream will normally be at a slight angle. The parapore ensures the stream falls in the center of the pour cup, regardless of angle, by moving horizontally as it tilts. This is difficult to see in practice, so let's look at this principle using a diagram, which exaggerates the movement. We start with a full bath. Notice that the nozzle is to the left of the mould line. As we begin pouring, see how the body moves to keep the metal stream in the pour cup. With the unit half empty, the nozzle is directly over the pour cup. Notice the slag trap between the bath and the pour box, which excludes air from the body and keeps the pour box clean. Very important for ductile iron. As pouring continues, so the body moves further to the right until the maximum tilt is reached. And even in this position, you can still pour manually, but the level will drop with a risk of slag in the nozzle. You should normally fill before this. Notice the sealed lid over the fill spout as the ladle comes to fill the unit. The body drops slowly at first as the operator begins the fill, then faster as he gets quicker. The level sensor is controlling the hydraulic rams to maintain a stable metal height in the pour box so the stopper parameters don't change. And the parapore will carry on pouring correctly regardless of filling. That's the real test for any pouring unit. You can see the body moving down a lot clearer in this shot. Always remember to shut the lid after the fill for minimum temperature loss. So having filled the unit, what about looking at the stopper control? You can pour manually using a joystick so that the stopper follows the position of the stick and switch between auto and manual pouring at any time. However, the normal automatic mode is set from a touch sensitive screen. The bars represent stopper height which can be varied throughout the pour while the time is adjusted on the edgewise switch at the top. The nozzle cleaner and lapper are also set here. Other screens are used to set metal height and close position, which is very important to reduce stopper and nozzle wear. A feature of the parapore is the easy way the stopper alignment is set from a cool and comfortable position. 
it's even possible to make micro adjustments safely whilst pouring. Of course, automatic nozzle cleaning and stopper lapping is available for nodular iron. The flashing light means the mould line has not moved for three minutes. The parapore will automatically tilt back to clear the metal from the nozzle area and lift the stopper to prevent freezing. Just push the pour button to start again and the unit automatically returns to pour position. And resumes pouring. Very useful for pattern changes. Now it's time to change irons. The parapore is manually operated in back tilt mode by a flexible pendant so the operator can control the whole operation from a safe position where he has the best view. This foundry runs a series of different irons and find it very useful to be able to empty the remains of one and start again with another. It's easy to inspect and clean the nozzle after emptying as the unit returns to the pore position for the next iron. It is also possible to have different bodies for different irons. The body is held by wedges. So just knock them out and lift away with a shop crane. The whole body and pore box can be moved as one. If you have a preheated spare, you could be running again in a very short time. Talking of lifting things, the whole parapore can be transported as one unit with a hydraulic power pack attached. The control desk is fitted with plugs and cables so all testing is done back at the works. Everything is checked before it leaves. The parapore can be installed on floor mounted rails in a weekend. It is very important to preheat the body before the shift and the parapore has a specially designed burner which can be fitted to the unit, which has all the facilities to dry a new body as well as preheat the existing one. When ready to start, you just swing the burner head away close the lid and wait for the first ladle. The parapore can be supplied in different sizes and configured in many ways. It has many other automatic facilities to help solve your pouring applications. The parapore, designed and built by foundrymen for your foundry.